Alright guys, what's going on? Just Callum here and today we're having a look at the Mech Mage Tricker Kit by Coilart. Alright guys, so today we are having a look at the Mech Mage Tricker Kit by your buddies over there at Coilart. Now, first, first thing I need to say to you guys is this is a fantastic mod, fantastic starter Mech Mod Kit. I really don't like the name, I really fucking don't like the name Mech. Tricker kit. I don't like the fact that it's they've, they've named it that. You not just called it the mech, the, the mage mech, or or the, the the mage mechanical mod. This is made to be sold to the masses. Now, if you are if you're click if you've stumbled across this video because you're interested in purchasing yourself the coil art mage mech tricker kit, then please please know what you're doing with battery safety. I feel obliged to tell you this. Know what you're talking about battery safety, make sure your batteries are wrapped, make sure you know your resistance of your builds and just make sure you know all the technical stuff that goes into using one of these devices. Yeah, there is some really sweet fucking, there's some really sweet safety features on this but know your shit and you'll be absolutely fine. So with that out of the way, let's jump up close and personal with the Mage Mech Tricker Kit. up close and personal with the coil art mage mech tricker kit nice graphic on the front of the box here on this side we just have mage mech tricker kit this side exactly the same and on the back a few details so we've got standard configuration one mage mech mod one mage rda one accessory bag a little barcode here a little bit of scratch and sniff down the bottom this one has not been scratched and has not been sniffed down the bottom we've got all of our certificates designed and manufactured by coilart.net coilart on the base. This side here we've got all the different colours that it comes in. We've got black, brass, red, blue, silver, copper and multicolour. We have got the sexy black one so we're going to pop it out of this box and see what it looks like. Slide it out, throw that to one side, don't need that. Coilart logo on the front of this box. This just lifts off and we toss that in the bin. Nice little bit of sponge here. I like that, I like some sponge, I like to rip this, so after this review, this sponge will be getting ripped. Here we have um, a little little circular card, like I, I like that it's circle. Coil art, logo, discover your flavour, seems to be their tagline. How to take off your top cap, twist and pull, pull and press. We've got the different colours here, we have got the nice black one down the bottom. And you do also get some nice multicolour versions as well. So we also get this warning leaflet here, this basically, I went over this in my first looks video, basically saying that this is intended for people that know what they're doing. Little screwdriver, always comes in handy. Little bag of goodies, now what I will say is I have already used three of the four replacement screws that come inside this little baggie, so just keep that in mind when you're cranking down your coils. Um, you don't want to be screwing too hard like I've done, I've ripped them. They're quite soft, quite soft. So here we have the Coilart Mage Mech. Now I do have a battery inside here, so I'm just going to slide that battery out just now. Pop that to one side. Here we have the switch here, nice switch. All you would do is, to unlock it, we would screw that counterclockwise and then that will give you contact with your battery. Then screw it clockwise and that will lock it up. You can adjust this here, all you want to do is get yourself a little flathead screwdriver and turn this if you need to adjust that for your battery. It's a hybrid mechanical mod so there is no fixed 510s. Your 510 connection from your atomizer is going to hit directly with your 18650 battery on the inside. So just please make sure that your 510 is protruding enough that it's going to make a nice contact. We have got nice coil art. Uh, engraving on the front here, very very nice finish, feels really nice in the hand, sort of like a powder coating on the outside, feels really really nice, really nice threads, I've had no issue with these threads, the machining has been fantastic, on the inside we do have a little sleeve, a little plastic sleeve in there, which will help if you have any tears or rips on your batteries, overall really nice, really nice construction of this mech mod. Now look at the RDA, we do have a big ass drip tip on the top, really nice size drip tip. But I, what I like to do is, I like to take my DHD double helix design fucking nub tip here, just stick that one to one side and then we just pop that on top. And I think that looks pretty sexy, I think that looks really nice. 
So I'm going to do is I'm just going to screw this onto the onto the top of the mechanical mod just so I can show you the deck on the inside. So here we have I've got a couple of alien clapdons on the inside here, a little bit dry, they need some juice. But you can see what's going on, airflow comes in through the bottom and then up to your coils, then out to your mouth. Um, delivers really good flavour, but what I will say is if you have a tendency to just drip your juice straight down the drip tip to your coils, just bear in mind that your airflow is underneath there and it could leak from that airflow slot at the base. Installing coils on this has been fine, the, the cutouts for you on the posts are nice and big, you can put pretty much anything inside here. Um, adjusting it has been absolutely fine as well, I've no, had no issues with that. The only one issue I have had with this is the top here. Um, sometimes it goes in nice and snappy like this, other times I can feel the metal actually dragging itself on like that there. You see how that gets caught, like that, you need to pull it tight, it is starting to tarnish the inside of the top cap. It is all one top cap, you do have adjustable airflow so you can do it in dual coil mode like I have configured here, or you can rock it in single coil mode if you want to. Nice, nice options here, it is adjustable 510 on the top like we mentioned, and the 510 protrudes, plenty, plenty to get a nice clean safe connection with the atomizer. So what I'll do is I'm going to pop the the RDA on top, screw it down nice and tight, take my battery, I always go positive at the bottom when I'm using a hybrid just because that way when it vents it has going to vent from the base and we'll screw that back together. The juice of choice that we're rocking today is Anarchist Red. Anarchist Red is a sweet strawberry flavour, really really nice really really nice flavorful pretty mellow vape really nice and weather like this pop that on unscrew it nice little press and yeah it's vaping so let's pop out back up to facetime let's have a vape and let's talk about this a little bit more all right guys that was us up close and personal with the mage mech tricker kit like I said up in the up close portion, really really nice mod, really nice construction. I like this I like this safety feature, I like the way that this switch works. You can screw it all the way out and have a nice squishy throw, nice and squishy. Or if you want to have a short throw you can just screw it slightly out and it's still going to do the vapours. Really nice locking mechanism, I like how easy it is to get your battery out. I like how they've built the atomizer. really nice, although I have had a little bit of issue with my top cap getting stuck. This mod, if you build a little bit low, it does get hot like anything, um, so try and keep your resistances at a reasonable 2 ohms is where I like to build this. I do like the fact that you can put your, your gun compatible tips on top, I really do like this colour change in pink, DHD tip. Um, really nice construction, I get really good flavour from this atomizer. So, the specifications of this bad boy are 24mm in diameter, 125 in Overall height, we have a magnetic fire button, we have billet red copper construction, black frost finish coating, which, I mean, this does look really, really nice. We have internal insulation protection, so we do have that sleeve in there that I was talking about, a little plastic sleeve, which, if you have got any tears or rips in your batteries, it should prevent it from misfiring or shorting, but please do not put any ripped batteries inside this mod has a self-adjusting firing switch, so you can adjust that for battery rattle. Hybrid 510, 24 karat gold plated deck, and we do have adjustable airflow. So yeah, overall guys, I wanted to keep this video nice, short and sweet, let you guys know the specifications, let you guys have a little look at this. But yeah, I'm really, I've really, really enjoyed this mod, I've really enjoyed using it. Like I said in my first looks, I'm not much of a mech user, I don't really use mechs that often. I'm more of a, a regulated mod type of guy, but there's nothing wrong with just kicking back, getting your favourite juice on this bad boy and having a vape. It vapes man, and it vapes well. So yeah, that was the Coil Art Mech Mage Tricker Kit. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And yeah, guys, let's keep it cloudy.